Thanks for joining us here on Yahoo Sports. I'm here with the After the Kumpo family for their Disney Plus movie, Rise, that's going to be premiering this week. Uh, I want to start with Mama Veronica. Uh, at what point did you realize that your family's life story was so unique that it could become the subject of a Disney story or any type of film? From the beginning of our time, I've trusted my kids of what, what they're doing hoping that one day things will work out well. And at the same time, watching them playing, coming to NBA, moving all, all around the world, championship and everything, then I was saying this is going to take us to a greater place in the future. Then this is where we are now today. We are very amazing. Absolutely. At the I, I have a question you, because you're the oldest mm. uh, of the four. Was there like a moment where you were like, oh, we're in a totally different space now? Uh, I, I think for me, when we started playing basketball and we came here uh, to the U.S., that was our first trip, like living like the country, like, come to the U.S. And then when Giannis got drafted and, and to me, it changed my whole world and, and for my family because I knew I was like, oh, man. Look at all these young talents that we see from TV, college playing college basketball, doing all these things, and we're right next to them. You know, I might, might, you know, might go second round or not get drafted, but it doesn't really matter because we're right there, you know, and that makes you believe. And then see him get drafted. And then, you know, see somebody who's so, like next to me in doing all these things, like got me so motivated that I was like, oh my God, this is, this is different now. This is, you know, it's a different feel. It's like doing something for the first time and then you're like, oh man, I need to do this again and again and again. Like with the movie and everything, kind of give us gave, gave us a glimpse to just stop and look back of the, what what has happened till now. Well, like this is for Alex and Costas because your journeys are completely different than your older brothers. Like, how much memory do you have of life before coming here? Like Giannis and Thanasis, like they lived it at a certain point of level of maturity where you guys were so young. So, what are your memories? Or what stands out most to you? from being in Greece compared to maybe being here? I definitely remember the life, you know, because I talk about this all the time, like the change in our life was so like drastic, you know? So like, like he said, like when Giannis got drafted then we came to the US, like the, the life already changed. So it wasn't like a, it didn't take like a long time to forget the, the life before that. So it's like, you went from that to, that real quick, so I don't think it's really easy to forget. I so, that then. did you say? I said that's really true. Yeah, I I remember it from my perspective. I don't know if uh, Alex. I definitely, I definitely remember. It. It's not really something you you're able to forget. No, but I think just like he said, the change in our life wasn't really gradual. It was kind of a quick thing. So um, it kind of like almost like kind of like shocked you and. But, you know, even moving to America, it was like a culture shock. For, I think for me, definitely, I don't know, it was for you, so. You know what's crazy? This is like, like the way we are now, like the way we live, like having like, being, being in the NBA and having like three brothers that won a championship. Like sometimes, like, I don't know if you understand that, but that's like, you'll feel like maybe like, it's a dream. Like me and I wake up and we're back in like, the house we used to be in, like, you're just in the bed. Like, I really feel like that sometimes. I'm like, well, maybe, it's, cause it's, it happens so quick. It's not like, like Alex said, it's not gradual. And it's, we're still young. young. I'm 24, Alex is 21, Yanis is 27, Vanessa is uh, 29, 30. We just still young men. So, so it's special for sure. Yanis, you being the one that, like a lot of this revolves around and you being the hard driving personality that you've always been, are you harder on your younger brothers because of the things that you've had to see and endure before? You got here. I know you can be very encouraging as a teammate, but do you find yourself being having higher expectations because of everything that you had to get to to get here? No, um, what I saw in my life, this this is so the same things. You know, uh, Costas was fourteen, uh, going to fifteen when he moved to the states. Alex was eleven, going to twelve. You know, like they had to struggle. You know, when we were taking trips for uh, going to cities outside Athens uh, to sell stuff. They were in the car, you know, uh, they were right there. They were selling stuff. You guys 
seen in the movie, they had to go through a lot of things to be tough. You know, I believe the men that they, they are today, uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. They wouldn't be who they are today without going through what we went through. You know, and I'm proud of both of them. Now, as an as older brother, do I, you know, uh, always push them to be great and be a great human being and be the best version of, of themselves? Obviously, you know, I want, the, I want that, but um, I want them to be happy. I want them to enjoy what they, they're doing. You know, when they go out there on the court or whatever they decide to do, I want them to enjoy it because that's what my dad would want to happen. Uh, for me personally, my life, when my life changed was when I got in that plane, man. Like, we got in the plane and we went to the United States of America, you know, uh, sitting in the first class uh, and getting the, you know, landing in the airport, going through customs, smelling the, the air. I knew, I knew our life changed. And after when, we, when I got drafted, we went back and there was 50, uh, you know, media personnel and camera people in the airport waiting huge. for us. So many people, there were so many people though. So we we kind of knew like like our life changed, you know, kind of had that feeling like, oh, okay, this side's going to be from now on. Uh, but uh, I think everybody here, and as it was tough. I'm not going to say it wasn't tough, but we, everybody here enjoyed uh, our time, you know, when we were all together and uh, it was kind of quiet, you know, we, we had privacy, we could do what we want, we could be silly. And we were together, you know. Now we're all doing our profession. Cosas is in Leon. Tenas is obviously uh, now with Milwaukee, but before he was in uh, Spain and Greece. Alex in Toronto. I've been in Milwaukee. You know, my brother Francis is, uh, you know, accomplishing his goals as a, yeah. as an artist in uh, in Greece. So we're all in different places. So we all kind of miss the, you know, that all you know time in the past that we were all together you know even though it was tough but we were all together and uh, we we're having fun yeah. well I gotta wrap on that thank you out to the Kupo family veronica Giannis, the nice alex Costas. really appreciate it. thanks for joining us here on y'all sports we appreciate it thank you. Thank you.